hi YouTubers. Uh, here's a quick video to talk about um, a conversion that I did to my 7C, my Futaba 7C. Well, it's a normal 7C, a 2.4 gigahertz 7C. Here's the antenna. The only thing that I did is to add a free sky module. Why is that? Because I wanted to fly my mini discus and I'm gonna take the time to show you also show you the conversion that I did. This is a mini discus. It's normally a, a hand throw plane. Um, what I did is make it make it RC. Let me connect the battery and I'll show you how it works. Sorry. Hard to do with just one hand. Bear with me. There you go. Okay. Um, here it is. It's uh, I, I converted this to RC. You usually see um, multiplex Fox. Uh, conversions. Uh, this is a mini disc because it's sliced slightly bigger than the Fox, um, and it handles better with the uh, with kind winds. But um, well, I found this to fly. I found this one to fly better than the Fox. I, I did a Fox conversion, and this one flies better. So it, it doesn't come with this slot. Uh, there's the canopy over here does not come with this slot, you have to carve it through. I find it easier to do with a soldering iron, a hot soldering iron. So you can carve it through, heating this up and it will melt down. And at the same time, when it dries, when it, it gets cold, it it becomes almost, almost plastic. So it's quite hard inside here. So there's a battery and beneath it is the, the speed controller. You can see that yellow thing over there. Um, so here's this is the wing servo. You have to install it before you glue the wing. Um, there it is. It works like this. And then you have the wiring back here to the elevator servo. Let me turn this around. There you go. There's the elevator servo. Um, as it is a, a hand throw plane. So you're supposed to throw it by hand. It does not come with pre-cut aileron, ailerons nor elevators, so you have to do it. Some people add rudder, but I like yank and bank or bank and yank uh, kind of plane, so I'm good with this. Um, in the front, I put a very high KV motor with a 5.53 propeller uh, and glued a little piece of carbon over there to screw the motor in so it's a, a very good setup it gives me 20 plus minutes of flight so it's, it's quite good and <clears throat> as it is a float plane glider it floats it glides very well so it's quite good now uh, coming back to the radio uh, I was forced to do this conversion and and I'm gonna explain to you how I did it why because I needed a small, very small receiver, a micro receiver, to put inside this discus. And the the Futaba compatible receivers, they only come with eight channels. So I needed a slightly smaller receiver to put here. So I did um, the hack with the FreeSky um, module. So here's the receiver. It's a V8R4. It's a four channel receiver. It works quite well for this kind of model. And uh, coming back to the radio, this is a conversion, a hack conversion that I did to the radio. So you need to open up the, the radio itself, from the back plate, take all the back, and apply the do it, do it yourself module. Look it on YouTube, it's quite easy to do, nothing complicated about it. And the only trick that I found, I saw a lot of guys doing this to six channel radios and it works fine. But to seven channel radios, these seven channel 2.4 radios, they come with the, 
I don't know if it's a safety feature from Futaba or just a glitch, but um, for y'all, all of you guys that know how to do the, the hack, you connect it to the trainer port inside of there to the pins. So what happened was, after I connected everything and did the, the soldering and all the schematics good, uh, these two channels, elevator and ailerons, worked well, but this, these two ones, the rudder and uh, throttle, did not work. Maybe it's a safety feature from Futaba, I don't know. Uh, and then after a lot of research, I found out that what you need to do is to, uh, when you open up this uh, the, the PCB, the, the backplate, and solder the wires to the training port, you need to bridge uh, pins 3 and 6. And if you do that, this these two channels will, will then become available. Um, they were not they were not functioning well, and after I soldered the two pins, um, uh, it started working. So uh, maybe it's a safety feature from Futaba. I don't know. Uh, but after a lot of research, I found out that if you bridge these those two those two pins, bridge them together. Um, this will make everything work. So it works very good right now. And as you can see, it, it's already working with the, the FreeSky module. You, you can see the LED over there. And I added this switch. This is, this is what makes the FreeSky module work. If I turn it off, the radar will come off. So it's working as a main switch over there. Now, of course, you have the Futaba main switch over here. So this is working Futaba module. And if I turn it, you can see the receiver is blinking. So if I turn back, the <coughs> <coughs> sorry, if I turn the free sky module again, it will bind immediately. So it is bound. bound. Um, well, this is it. Uh, this is both the mini disc, mini discus, and the uh, free sky module in this. Uh, the cons, well, the pros, it will give you pros um, regarding this conversion is that it will give you a bigger range of receivers. You have Free Sky receivers, you have uh, Futaba receivers, original ones, compatible ones, a lot of, a lot of big range of receivers to use this. Um, those are the, the main advantages advantages of having this the main cons it's um disadvantages is to have two antennas but well it doesn't really look that bad at all it looks quite well indeed so for me it's just advantages and another uh, information about this conversion it's quite funny but it actually um demonstrates that um, the, the, the dealer uh, of the free sky module actually gives you the right information how you can how can you see that it will it's very easy the first time I saw this I find it weird weird but then uh, when I saw the specifications on the free sky module I noticed that uh, it is true well, as you can see, the voltage on the free sky module it is on. Um, it's 9.8 volts, and if I turn it off and turn the Futaba one, it's 9.5 and 9.4 volts. Um, so there's a difference between the two voltages. Why is that? Because um, Futaba, the Futaba module, will transmit with a 100 milliwatt output of power coming through the antenna. Um, in case of the free sky module, it will only output 60 milliwatts. So the free sky module uses less power than the Futaba module. Hence the difference on the voltage. That's an interesting fact that I found out. So um, it works very well. Both the discus flies very well and the free sky module it's working fine. So I hope this uh, helped. Well, at least it, at least it's me showing my little conversion about the discus and the uh, uh, 
free scan module on the 7C radio. It is possible, it will work. So try it out. Bye-bye.